I actually have no idea why the hell I brought my jacket today. Hey there people, how the frig's it going? Welcome to another one of these vlogs of mine. But uh, yeah, it's really freaking warm out tonight. I bet you these trees feel really stupid for shedding their leaves. That one's pretty much, this one's doing some weird shit. Let's go take a look at this one. This one's kind of fucky. Look at that, it's like party in the, or a business in the front, party in the rear. <laughs> fucking tree. <laughs> and this one here is just not sure what to do. It's like, it's got the buddy van doodle going on, eh? All the hairs are low and tops bald and the bottom's all bushy. Right on. The buddy van doodle tree probably. Yeah, I've never seen the tree shed their leaves like this. Normally it's like they're loaded to the tits and the next day we come in and all their leaves are just laying on the on the parking lot. Kind of like this mess. And then they got a guy who comes in with a truck with a big br uh, brush on the front. A roller brush and slaps them all up and fucked if I know what they do with them after that. Probably compost them because, you know, you compost that up and you break it down and get some pretty decent soil out of it next year. So, this is weird. Oh, I farted. So as a lot of you probably heard, uh, Iron Man made a deal with me for either A, the pressure washer, the five horse pressure washer, or B, that eight horse Briggs and Stratton motor, which will be perfect for black bike. I'm not telling you what the deal is, I'm just telling you that I'm anxious to put an eight horse Briggs and Stratton on the black mini bike to see what happens. So yes, I took him up on the offer before anybody wants to know or anybody asks. I took them up on the offer. There will be a trade going down and um, Black Bike will be getting a bigger engine, which will be awesome. Oh, hell yeah. Eight horsepower, man. I just, the only questions I have is what's the, out, uh, what's the output shaft on it? If it's three quarter inch or one inch. Firmly, I'd like to know the rotation of the shaft because if it's reverse rotation, that's going to cause a little problem. But uh, I know a guy. I know a guy looking for one of those, so maybe I'd end up selling it to him. I don't know. That guy needed to rotate the same direction that my current one does. Apparently, you can get them in multiple rotations. I don't know. Because I know a guy looking for a clockwise rotation engine for a project he's doing. I think I need counterclockwise for the uh, black bike. Yes, that seems legit. So that's what I need. And I'm hoping that engine is a counterclockwise rotation. Otherwise, she's going to reverse really fucking fast. Think of a motorbike that you drive while, while riding backwards. You put your arms behind your back and you drive it and it's the sketchiest fucking ride you ever took and you pile all the time, eh? So all I gotta say is I'm really happy that I waited to buy my PlayStation 3 because apparently they're getting a price drop down to 350 bucks and that includes a video game with them, so that's the cat's meow. You know, I was gonna buy that Destiny package, but then I saw it was 549. Yeah, it's a nice PlayStation, but then I realized, who cares? Who cares what it looks like? I'm not gonna be like staring at it and bringing it out for dinner at Boston Pizza or anything. I just wanna play fucking video games on it, right when we switch over to PlayStation 4 it's gonna be friggin even better because I think other people in the crew are gonna be streaming at the same time so that'll make things a lot more interesting if everybody's streaming because then people can jump between streams you know if blokes being a dick people can jump over to his stream and see what he's dicking around with being a dick and if I'm being a dick they can watch me or if church is being a dick they can watch him and get her done it's pretty awesome last night though we were featured on the YouTube gaming uh, app we got featured on the front page for Grand Theft Auto. Uh, Drunk as Frig Boys, I think was what I called it. No, no, I can't remember what I called it. Oh yeah, we were supposed to do missions, but we ended up getting a full house, so we said, fuck it, let's roll some races. That's why titling a live stream is nearly impossible when you're playing, because you don't know who's going to come on and what's going to happen. And I always like to get the live stream going first, before people get on, so we can have, like, the beginning of us sticking around in free roam and being an idiot and stuff and then uh, roll out the big carpet you know at least when we switch back to PlayStation 4 switch back switch over to PlayStation 4 Adrian can come play with us again so that'd be pretty fucking awesome it's been a while since he's played with us because well he switched over to PS4 and probably doesn't have his PS3 hooked up so that was always fun playing with Adrian and he'll be able to come play with us again now I was thinking like I was thinking about buying the Battlefront version of the PlayStation 4, the one with the Darth Vader PlayStation 4, but then I was like, I kind of want Battlefront on PC because playing first person shooters for me, I play better on a mouse and keyboard than I ever have with a stupid joypad, you know? If my crew that I play with was more into PC gaming, I wouldn't even be looking at the PS4. I'd just be buying a bigger video card for my, my desktop and playing on PC all the time, Grand Theft Auto, everything. Fuck consoles. 
you know, $500 friggin' Grand Theft Auto 5 machine is what I like to call it. Oh, tonight's been a friggin' lazy night, people. Hasn't been much going on. It's been pretty dead, pretty quiet. I came out late because, well, I forgot to come up for lunch. So I'm good till nine. Had her back inside, carry on for three more hours. Had her home. I'm sure by then Oreo probably laid a nice great big steamy log on the carpet. Any fucking hoozle. I feel like sitting in my car for a bit, listening to some tunes, just chilling. Chilling with my brain. Sometimes that's dangerous to do, but sometimes I'm all about that danger. Anyway, people, I'm just sitting in my car vaping and checking out Instagram to see what the frig's really going on with people's pictures. And um, I'm going to head her back inside. I'm doing five minutes to go back in and carry on with the shift of boredom. So that's my plan. So I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Peace the frig out. Holy shit, someone's happy to see me. Okay, either that or you just got to take a piss. Anyway, people, I'm home. I forgot to film the part when I leave work and come home because uh, I was excited to get out of there. You gotta piss right there, eh, bud? Fuck, must have had to go. Uh, not much going on in the backyard. Go for a poop while you're at it. Because I know you're just gonna shit the carpet because you're like that. No, go for a poop, dude. No. Oreo, go poop. You tell him, he goes out that far, and then he's just gonna be back up on the step. Watch. Or he's gonna sigh. I don't want to go for a poop, but I guess I will, because you told me three times. Like, just shit right there. Just, just knuckle up and give her, bud. Knuckle up and give her. Like, he's going to go poop. I know he has to. He's just trying to find a spot where the grass won't touch his arsehole when he kangaroos up. But I want to show you guys some plans that we have for that mini bike chassis. And I think I know what I'm going to do this Thursday, Friday. Then I'm going to tackle the bodywork on the uh, G6 because that's needed big time. Go to Craptire, we'll get some primer, go to HE Browns, get some color mash paint, and oh man, it's going to be a haggard, haggard garage style paint job because I'm going to do it right in the driveway. I'm not going to even pull it into the garage or nothing. I don't care if debris gets into it or anything. I don't care. Can we go in the house now? Now for this mini bike, uh, you probably heard, like I mentioned earlier, that I'm getting an eight horse engine for it. Well, there's two things you gotta check. Is number one, will the bolt pattern on the bottom of that plate mesh up to the eight horse? And number two, this plate needs to be repaired. As you can see, it's fine all the way up till there where she gets loosey juicy. So, after Rex seen the leaked video yesterday, because the fucking YouTube scheduler screwed up and released my video for the 19th yesterday. Um, I'm going to take that plate, I'm going to cut off some slivers, and we're going to weld them underneath to offer reinforcement. Now I also have some bed frame over here, some angled bed frame and shit. Let's see if I can get over there to get it. Ah, dick. Okay. Oh my goodness. Just kicking the shit out of everything in the way. But we got this like... This angled bed frame over here that I can also use where I can put it up against the uh, climb over all the garbage. There we go. Uh, you know, underneath here, underneath that rolled tube, put a piece of angle in there, weld it on, weld it on, and it'll offer a brace support. And then uh, if it overlaps the holes, just drill them out and then dremel them out and make it good. Now I don't know if I need this piece, if this will get in the way of the new engine, or what. I don't even remember what the hell that was attached to on here. I don't think it was attached to anything. I think that was a, uh, a thing for the, uh, the muffler guard here, which this was attached to. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. But there's all the engine bolts, so I didn't lose them. I still got them. Don't worry. I want to get an empty cigarette tin and put everything in it. But for now it's safe there. I don't see that going anywhere. As long as I don't bump it. But uh, as for this engine, well, I was dicking around with it and stuff, and I found out where it's leaking from. It's actually, uh, let me get this camera off my wrist. It's actually leaking from the shaft. So there's a seal in there that probably shit the bed. And uh, I looked online on OMB Warehouse. You can get a new, uh, I guess, crankcase gasket. Is the gasket that goes, like if I take off that gear reducer, you'll see better, but I gotta do that to work on the engine. Um, there's a gasket that goes behind this crankcase. 
which is prone to leak and there is a gasket on the shaft that is prone to leak. Apparently it's an easy job, I looked it up on YouTube, it's something I can easily fucking bang out myself. And I can get this engine going again and use it for another project or shelf it in case I blow up, you know, in case I blow up this engine or I blow up the new engine that goes on here or whatever. I'll have a backup that I can just quickly bolt shit to and toss it on. Now, yeah, that's the thing. It's like, uh, that's basically it, right? So, I'm going to rebuild this engine, clean it up, rebuild it. Fix up the gaskets and shit. Maybe I'll do the top end gaskets while I'm at it and get her back up to, uh, you know, about as close to 100% as you can get. Now it was knocking, so I don't know what the frig that means. Uh, probably because it's low on oil because it pissed it all out and I ran it on oil without oil for like a good minute. <laughs> Stupid me. But um, yeah, that's what we're going to do is. Uh, Brace the plate, make it stronger, drop that 8 horse on here, I fucking hope it fits. Oh my goodness, I hope it fits. And then uh, we'll have 8 horsepower, I want to get a torque converter like Rex's, and I'll probably have enough power to kill myself on this thing a lot harder. So, yeah, I'm a little nervous about that part. Now, that new engine doesn't have a, um, what do you call that shit? Uh, I can't remember the name of it now. Not, not an alternator, but uh, you guys will write it in stator. That's what it is. It doesn't have a stator. So uh, I won't be able to generate power to power the non-working headlight. I'm going to leave the headlight on there because I think it looks cool with the headlight, even though it doesn't work. I just think that looks badass. I'm going to leave the headlight on it, but it's going to be non-functional like it's always been. Uh, I'm going to take all these reflectors off because these are fucking bogus. And we don't ride on the streets, so frig it. Get rid of all the flectors and um, I want to clean it up a lot better. I want to get my pressure washer outside and use the soap attachment to really hose her down and give her a soapy bath. <coughs> and then I'll be able to clean it up, make it look all freshy nice, put the 8 horse on there and sweet Jesus she will ride like a mask. And then I know Rex wants me to get up to his house one of these days I don't know if I get up there go mini biking with them. It won't be with this bike. It'll be with this bike until this bike's built, obviously. This thing's slow as fuck, so I guess uh, Rex will be giving her and I'll just do my best to keep up. Which will be impossible because this bike tops out at 23 kilometers an hour with me on it because I'm fucking heavier. Heavier than the, the allotted weight limit. Where does it say on here? Where did I see that? It says somewhere on here like... Uh, fucking, if you're fat, don't ride me. Um, is it on the back? I can't read that. I'm probably telling you the tire pressure. But, uh, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> For not use on public highways. Because that's exactly where I want to take this motorcycle, is to take it on the highway. <laughs> Not on the, on the public streets. I want to take it on the highway, people. So yeah, there you go. That's the battle plan with these two pigs. Um, this one, I'm going to leave it slow and steady. I want to torque convert it. That should bring it up to 40 kilometers an hour, which would be pretty damn quick. It'd be fast enough at 40 kilometers an hour to uh, get yourself injured on. And I have no idea what the hell this thing is going to do with a torque converter and an extra one and a half horsepower. It's probably going to be pretty scary. Pretty sketchy, pretty scary. Looking forward to it. But anyway, people, I plan on going in the house. I'm going to film some commenting on comments. Hopefully this time my neck isn't transparent. Uh, I've tried some different settings on the camera. They seem to work. Basically, if I lock the color balance, that's what happens, eh? The color balance fucks up. So, like, if you get too close to the camera with something, it alters the color balance. Then when you pull it away, you're like fucking orange like an Oompa Loompa. And then the green screen takes a shit and, well, that's the way she goes. But uh, I'm going to shut her down here, head her back in the house, pet the puppy, take a shit, and then we will fill some cock and get shit organized. So I think I'm going to shut her down here, boys. So thanks for watching. Like, favorite, and comment. And until next time, people, keep on blogging.